I am about to complain so hard and you are going to like it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video while I'm going to be pretty much screaming and talking at you guys because I am very, 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 very upset. Now, before I get started into this story time video, please hit the subscribe button, like this video before I turn you guys off from my channel, and leave a comment with anything you want. I don't even know. I am too... Ah! Okay, so I'm going to start this story time. A few weeks ago, I went on a date. And this wasn't just any particular date. And I'm, by that, I don't mean I met this guy on Tinder. Um, I met him at the club. Like, I met all my men. No. I knew this boy from a long time ago because he was my high school crush. I was in love with this boy my freshman year of high school. Everybody wanted to date the quarterback, but I knew that this mathematician, wonder boy, had so much promise to him. He was the kind of boy that you could say was 13 times 13 times 13 times 13, and he would give you the answer in a matter of minutes. And I can't give you the answer now, and I never will be able to unless I can get my phone that's charging and get my calculator out. He was so smart, and I was so much in love. I remember I was that kind of creepy person where I knew his schedule, so I would make sure that I was going to my route of classes, the same route he was going, and so we would have to see each other, and then I would have to say hi, and I analyzed every interaction we had in the shower before I went to sleep. I was, you know, just a little bit boy crazy, but, I mean, he just drove me wild with his numbers. It was so sexy. <sighs> and it probably didn't help that I didn't have my first kiss. That was really hormonal. So, you know, all of that could have added to it. I don't know. Anyway, fast forward. We, he decides to text me and he asked me on a date. And I was so, I already told you guys how excited I was. I got dressed. And I made sure the outfit was sexy, but not too sexy and not too revealing, but it was something new. And I just got my hair did from the hair salon, so I was feeling feisty. And then he picked me up, so I knew it was a date, and it was just him one-on-one, -on -one, and we went bar hopping. And of course, he paid for my drinks because it was a date. Who gets to say that they go on a date with their high school crush. I mean, I guess unless you were really hot and popular in high school, you were dating your crush. But, you know, losers like me, who can say that? I could say that. So, everything is a nice time. I'm kind of one of those people where I get really nervous on dates, but I don't seem like the type. I always get afraid that there's gonna be awkward silence, and I'm gonna just talk too much or talk about something embarrassing. But it wasn't like that because at least we always had the past of the memories of high school to fall back on. So we, you know, we could joke about old times about swim team, all this stuff. So it was actually going really well. And maybe this date was a little bit more of a setup of just getting to know each other. But, you know, he seemed, you know, nice. Then it kind of pops up the fact that I used to have a crush on him and apparently it was really obvious that I like liked him and so we, he brought it up with some friendly banter and you know what I'll own up to it. I had a crush on him. I had a huge crush on him. I was in love. He started reminiscing and wishing that I had gone to a school dance with him. Something that we never did and he was talking about how he would have had more fun with me and I just thought those words were so kind but then he just kept talking and he said about how he went with a girl who had brown eyes he has brown eyes and he wasn't attracted to her because 
he only likes girls with blue eyes. I have blue eyes. Now, I guess some girls might find this is really flattering, but I really don't like it when a guy likes me because I fall into his type. Listen, ladies, you never want to be somebody's type. You always want to be the exception. So, you know, it kind of made me feel a little uncomfortable that I just kind of fit into some category of hotness and it started straying away from the fact that he'd have more fun with me because of my personality but more of my looks but it was like oh, okay whatever whatever but then he keeps talking and he goes on to say that he likes girls with hourglass figures and he's just really going into depth about his type and then he decides to talk about my body it's just amazing to me when we were in swim team i used to look at you and I was just so confused as to why you hadn't gone through puberty at that age. And now I'm looking at you now, and you obviously still haven't gone through puberty. You don't have any hips. And I'm speechless. I mean, first off, I did not see this coming. Especially when things were going really well, I thought. I mean, granted, he narrated a lot of things and talked to himself, but you know, we could have been friends. We could have been friends. He could have been invited to my birthday party. Ooh, just in general, thinks that this is appropriate to say to someone, let alone in a society like this, to a woman about her body. Fine. If you don't want to get with this sexy 12 year old body, you don't gotta. Okay? I'm not forcing you. I mean, in fact, you asked me out and I'm on all social media platforms so you know what my body looks like. Okay? But that's okay. That's okay. You know what? I was drinking Wells. But I think for my next drink, I think I want a mojito. And don't worry about driving me home. That guy, or that guy, that guy, that guy, that guy over there is just fine with taking over for the night and taking me home. Or not taking me home. Maybe we'll go back to his place and we'll have a lot more fun than you will ever have in your life. Okay? I'm not going to force you to be attracted to this smexy, anti-pubescent body. Okay? And you know what I did after that? I did nothing because I wasn't really respecting myself and I wasn't thinking that I could call an Uber and I was just thinking he's driving me so I just want to get through this night as fast as I can. So we go to the next bar and we decide to play darts. Okay, fun, distracting game, whatever. But while playing darts, he's trying to trip me up. And I've had guys trip me up before. You know, they grab your shoulders. You know, they're kind of trying to scare you. They're psyching you out. He decides to shove me from behind. Full force shove where I am falling forward with these darts in my hand. I'm the only girl at the bar being shoved by a boy. It is very embarrassing. And you know what I should have done? I should have said something. But I didn't. I don't know why. I really don't. I wish I did. I really wish I did. Because I didn't deserve to be treated that way. But I just took it. It wasn't like me, but I just took it. I don't know. I was so just flabbergasted. I don't have an excuse. I don't know why. I don't think it was my fault. I don't think it's my fault for being treated poorly, but I stayed. But then it was time to go and I was really excited to leave. So we're in the car ride back and I'm reminiscing about my brother, which he knew, he knew my brother 
um, before he passed away because they were um, both in high school at the time. And so they both took Latin. So I started talking about how we used to play with our babysitter this game called Whack Tag. And I've actually jokingly referred to it in one of my parody music videos. And what we used to do is we used to have a yardstick and have her be blindfolded and then you would whack as hard as you can and if you hit someone they're it like a you know tag a game of tag and he goes you mean you would hit as hard like this and he swings his arm in the car while he's driving and hits me as hard as he could and it hit me right in my stomach right in your that diaphragm area where when it gets hit you feel like you lose your breath you know when the wind's knocked out of you? He hits me there and it hurts so bad I'm trying not to cry. I don't even know how to comprehend this. And I'm just pretending like everything's okay when it wasn't okay. And I just count the minutes till we got home. And I didn't kiss him. And I went in, went home, and I cried. And I cried. And then I got really angry and then I reflected and I gave myself a pep talk and I got over it but I've definitely seen this as a life lesson that I really should have spoke up from the beginning I didn't deserve to be treated like that and even though if it wasn't being you know aggressive type of physical behavior I didn't deserve to be shoved and embarrassed like that in the bar and I didn't deserve to be hit like as hard as he could in the car so this story went from funny to sad real quick, but I figured I would bring you guys down just like it brought me down because I was so excited to go on a date with my high school crush. The next day, he didn't even text me, which I'm glad, but he didn't even text me. I guess I just didn't fit his body type. Just wasn't the one for him. And on top of that, he told me he had this fancy job when he was still in training for this fancy job. And he had already gotten fired from his last job. You know what? I think he's a virgin too. Okay, there, I'm gonna end this video. And um, I'm sorry if I, got, if I brought you guys down, but honestly, I'm over it. I was hurt by the fact that somebody would say that to me and what he did to me, but I'm not gonna believe it, okay? curvy in all the right places especially in the front when I eat a lot and I get a food baby it really shows up there so okay well subscribe love you guys bye